Hello, Leo darlings. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in This Bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Yes, I do. So I'll take a pump of you, baby. I'm a sage for the gods. All right, so here we go. If you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit the description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any of the magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, Leo, based off of the pre-shuffle, I felt like there's definitely something you're being taught for the month of July. I'll take a puff for you, Leos. Okay. So, for the month of July, you could be definitely going through a uh, new change of spiritual pace. Now, the first cards that I got was debt, pay, oh, the old weight and habit of debt is lifted from you and your life. Okay, Leo, fuck with me. So, could be some money. Okay, could be some things that you have taken care of previously that are coming into fruition. Could have given somebody some money to get your debt paid off. Okay. But debt is being paid off. And it could be also a business venture as well. Okay. So it could be something new. A trip. A travel. An idea. Business idea. Opportunity. Traveling for sure. And to have patience. Okay, Leo. With daily practice, you can polish your skills and talents and increase your confidence. Talk to me, Leo. All right, so practice, practice, practice. There might be some things you need to practice, work on. Those daily rituals. All right, getting yourself up and getting it together. Changing the pace. Okay, so let's see what's going on with the romance angels. Romantic feelings, Leo. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, darlings. And passion. Oh, shit. So definitely a sexual month is what I'm seeing here, Leos. Could be some romantic feelings that you do need to explore with some passion. Could be a wedding involved. Uh-oh. Leo says this situation involves marriage, baby. So some of y'all could be getting a divorce. Some of y'all could be getting married. Somebody could be planning that wedding. This is kind of similar to the Cancer reading and the Scorpio reading so far. All right. So between you and your partner, definitely uh, could be some sort of wedding of some sort. Now, for some of you all, you need to love yourself first and free yourself, Leo. Fuck that motherfucker. All right. And have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation with a dusty ass and with yourself. So free yourself. Some of y'all really could be turning up the passion, turning up the heat for the month of July, baby. All right, so let's see what's going down between you and your partner and then how they feel about you. You have the magician energy here, Leo, so I'm definitely feeling like some of y'all could be dealing with that Aries energy. You also could be dealing with um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I feel like for some of you all, there could be this energy of someone is being pushed away, but you're trying not to think about that worrisome energy. For some of you all, between you and your partner, it's definitely like this uh, vibe of someone not feeling in their power and someone who could be worrying too much. And then there's also someone who's trying to communicate, but they could be uh, holding themselves back from communication, their own self. So first two cards, Ace of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, definitely a lot of communication here for the month of July between you and your partner. The communication could be that someone is willing to communicate. You guys are definitely in your own independence. Somebody got that OJ glove too. Okay, Leo. There definitely could be uh, this situation with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, to me, it looks like they're having a hard time bringing things together or completing things between you and your partner coming into completion could be feeling like there's definitely some sort of balance or something that you need to take care of first going back and forth is definitely what i'm seeing here 
But I do see that it could be that you're moving forward. I do see a family that's leaving away. And with that page of pentacles, could be that message or that news. But definitely um, someone who's going back and forth between leaving. Okay, it could be at a distance as well. But someone is definitely trying to ground themselves here. I see a lot of shoes too, Leo. So somebody could have a lot of shoes or somebody could be giving away a lot of shoes. Don't ask me why I feel that. But yeah, so um, I feel like your emotions towards your partner, you're trying not to um, look at it in a bad perspective. You're trying to really just keep on pushing forward is what I'm seeing here with communication. Definitely a lot of money energy that you're trying to push into something new. So that's probably why that business venture is definitely here. All right. Could be between you and your partner that there was some strife or there could have been just this energy of someone feeling burdened uh, due to money issues. It also could be um, definitely someone who it's like they they want to stay in this. OK, but you're also having to leave away with this six of swords. I'm definitely seeing that someone is taking their shit and leaving. All right. Could be in the thoughts and the mind. I'm definitely seeing here between you and your partner, there's some sort of action that needs to, uh, that needs to pop off. Could be a lot of um, traditional things that you guys have in difference between each other, especially with this judgment energy. Someone is needing to think outside of the motherfucking box with their stupid ass. Okay, Leo. So definitely your partner could be needing to think outside of the box. Could be some belief systems that you guys have traditionally that are set up that someone is needing to think differently, especially taking your family and leaving. All right. So let's see how they feel about you. I have the four of cup energy here coming in reverse and also the six of pentacles. So they definitely feel like you need to leave some emotions behind due to your belief system. I'm also seeing here that there could be some tiresome energy between money and circumstances, but someone is definitely wanting to see that equal give and take because you got the scale energy here. Somebody's holding the scale. You could be outweighing the weed. I don't know what it is, but I definitely feel like there is this balance that someone is trying to obtain in one hand and the other hand, they're trying to give some things out with that's defensible. So it could be that decision that you need to make between this balance. Okay, but your partner is definitely viewing you as someone who wants that balance. They view you as someone who needs to take an action or they're moving quite slow in the commitment department with the three of pentacles and also the knight of wands. So you could have been moving slow or they view you as somebody who's moving uh, very cautiously. But there's love here with the ace of cups. There could have been something that you all had to like be delicate about, but you also had to be stern. Could have been due to this person's actions. Could have been to, due to their traditional beliefs in their household. I'm also seeing here with the Ace of Cups, um, a lot of love action that this person needs to take is how they're viewing you. Definitely some sort of commitment, okay? Now, with the high priestess energy here, I'm feeling like for some of you all, there's just someone who wants that overall awareness to their love with the Ace of Cups and also the Three of Pentacles. So they definitely want you to speak up about your love, bring some love offers, make that love come down at nighttime, honey, with the lights off. Definitely some sort of commitment, but they're also ready to cut something off if you aren't willing to give it to them. You know, uh, but I do feel like it's a lot of love here. Okay, this person wants to connect with you, commit with you. There could be a lot of differences between your backgrounds, but I'm definitely seeing that this person wants you to be aware of the love that you guys have and the commitment. Because I see a lot of commitment here. Okay, two of cups, three of pentacles. Could be dealing with a third party. Somebody could be going to the altar, honey. That is the altar card. So somebody's definitely thinking about some sort of marriage. They definitely view you as um, someone that they can have a wonderful life with. Damn. Okay, Leo, talk to me, baby. Somebody got some damn good love in here, honey. You got the six of cups and the two of cups, baby. It might be a little bit of differences. You got the ace of cups, too. Might be some differences and shit between y'all, but I'm definitely feeling like there is somebody who 
wants that commitment, that love. You could be dealing with multiple children. All right, somebody has a kitty cat. I know my Leos do, honey. But they definitely view you as someone that they can have a lot of um, past, future, present energy with, okay? Leo, this person loves you very much so. You have the Nine of Cups as well. So they want this wish coming true, this happiness. Is what I'm seeing is coming to fruition in July. Even though we are going to be in retrograde, this person definitely wants a connection or some love with you, okay? So since it's so good, let's see who's fine. Definitely someone that could have had some issues with your happiness and jealousy here. Could be family member. Could be mother, brother, but someone is definitely spying on you, making quick decisions. Uh, definitely someone that you were guarded to in the past or someone that you had a lot of regrets towards in the past. Leo is who's spying on you. Possible Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy here. You have the Two of Swords and also the, six, the Eight of Wands. So, definitely could be a family member. Queen of Cup energy here, that mothering energy. Strength energy too. But I'm feeling like someone uh, in your family could be spying on you due to your happiness, due to um, wanting to see this connection work as well. Because that Six of Pentacles is definitely coming out, which is a family legacy card. And I'm also seeing here, uh, for some of you guys, it's, it's this mothering energy that's coming out. could be someone that you've had some arguments with. But I definitely feel like uh, someone is trying to aid you and whoever is spying, okay? Because there was some mothering energy is hovering over you or fathering energy that's hovering over you. That's watching you do something. Is what I'm seeing here, Leo. Okay. Could be uh, shit, the afterlife. That's energy here. Could be Scorpio as well. But there's definitely this energy of someone watching over you, a mothering energy. Okay. So I feel like this person definitely doesn't even care if. You know, if it is a family member, they don't give a fuck, right? They're just kind of like, well, I'm going to have to be sharp with you and cut it off when I need be, when need be. But I'm definitely seeing here, it could be someone who wants to start with you as well, who's spying with this Empress energy here, Leo. Definitely someone from the past. But definitely this mothering energy that's spying on you, okay? So let's see what you don't see. What you don't see, Leo? Interesting. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio. This could be in their sun, moon, or rising. I'm seeing here somebody is going to be very truthful. Okay. There also could be a lot of hot and tempting and obsessed things that someone is trying to drop their guard down towards for the month of July. Could be dealing with that Capricorn energy, that devil. But I am feeling like someone's trying to drop themselves away from that toxic energy, those obsessive behaviors, and kind of just going with the flow. What you don't see is there's definitely someone who you could have had some fears or some unknown truths to uh, that was trying to make things work. You guys have planted some seeds. I do see things coming to fruition after, after you've planted these seeds. Two of one energy here and also the nine of motherfucking pentacles. So once you root and see with you and your partner or with somebody helping your ass, you start to see things coming into fruition. You are getting ready to pick those fruits of your life, baby. You are dropping those fears, those old habits, those mysterious, that mysterious energy. Could be a lot of uh, things that you're going to be cutting the fuck off. Could be some real sharp energy here, Leo, that you're dealing with. Okay, you could also be going through a new calling with this judgment, just being shown some new light. I feel like your partner is definitely healing, 
but someone has some regrets. Okay, you have the Ten of Swords coming in reverse and also the Four of Swords. So I feel like your partner had some regrets towards how they possibly could have treated you or how they could have ended the situation or how things were unsuccessful due to um, being extremely obsessive and um, very toxic. Could have been with another person as well, Leo, but I'm definitely feeling like for some of you all, your person is definitely healing from toxic energy. But it seems to me like you could be having it on this stern face as well with the Queen of Swords, just wanting that real factual shit, all right? I'm also seeing underneath the surface that someone is wanting that equal give and take with this justice energy. You could be dealing with a Libra, but they want some love, okay? Once they see that this is equally given, somebody's going to have an offer for you, especially an offer of emotions. You got the Ten of Cups, Leo? So somebody wants that picture perfect, bitch, we about to be happy doing this shit <laughs> and they're making a final decision so now i see why the wedding comes into play because there's going to be this equal balance and fair play that this person is going to be bringing to you and that you will be bringing to them equally and i'm also seeing um you're going to cut off what doesn't serve you could be with money and financial situations as well like i like it said that paid off you have the uh the knight of pentacles and also the queen of swords right next to it so I'm feeling like love is looking very stable. Could be some decisions you're having to make within your household. Okay. Somebody could be changing the furniture, baby. But I'm definitely feeling like there could be just a situation overall with money. Be careful um, with how things are being spent. All right. Now, I do feel like there could be a major opportunity coming towards you with the will of the year and the full energy. So. This is looking to me like there is an opportunity that could be with money, could be uh, with a karmetic situation that's closing itself out. I see a lot of circles here and I do feel like um, the karmetic energy is closing itself out and you're getting ready to have a major, major new beginning. OK, because you've been working really hard for it. So let's see about possible outcomes. Here we go. Leo. You have the Magician Energy and the Temperance and the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like there's that Seven of Swords. So could, someone could be definitely setting up some booby traps <laughs> to being fucked up. But I definitely feel like with the full energy here, once again, you guys are going to take on a new opportunity. There could be someone who tried to present to you an opportunity off to the side. There could be that player-like energy, Leo. But I'm definitely feeling like this person could be being dishonest. Like I said in the beginning, someone was not being very clear with their honesty and their dishonesty, okay? So somebody's love language is a little bit different, but I do see here Ten of Pentacles. There could be a new opportunity in store for you. And love and security is looking damn good, Leo, okay? Bottom of the deck, three of Pentacle Energy. So you could have been, uh, someone could be messaging a third party. Be aware of that. But I definitely see that you're going into renewal and healing Okay, because you got the Ten of Cups once again. Could be a lot of sex energy with the devil card. So be aware of that. But I do feel like your emotional happiness is going to be at a 10. Okay, could be a lot of energy that you're trying to relieve yourself from and heal. So let's see about the afro Bazarian Tarot. About the closing message. Here we go. Ooh, that magician energy, darling. Okay. So, you got that death energy, that magician energy once again. Could be some treasure energy that you definitely need to be aware of. Some third-party situations that you're having to um, rejuvenate. Okay, definitely could be some really sharp energy because I'm seeing with the King of Swords, there could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be having to be extremely sharp. But you also have the king, Queen and King of Wands. So, I definitely feel like somebody wants you to make that action. And somebody's definitely ready to cut some things off. You guys look like a matching pair together. You could be dealing with three parties, four parties. But I'm definitely feeling like overall, uh, you could be dealing with a Scorpio for sure. But I do feel overall that you guys definitely have a new beginning coming to you. A new leap of faith, a new opportunity, business ventures. I love it. If you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below, babies. And I'll see you in the next video.